Pastor James Anderson from New Life Apostolic Church, East Moline, Illinois. Uh, welcome to our Bible study. I hope this finds everyone doing well. Our lesson uh, tonight is on praise. Praise. And I want to start on the um, timing of praise. Uh, the Bible says that, uh, we should praise him at all times. But there's a particular time uh, when things come upon you uh, that uh, you want to know uh, that is a good time to praise the Lord. Uh, Ephesians 3.1, it talks about time. It says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to re, uh, refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And even in the beginning, we find that there is an order. Uh, even in creation, we see when God created the heavens and the earth, uh, there was an order and there was a time for everything that he did. Uh, a lot of times when we come to the crossroads of our lives, we have to make decisions. And many times, uh, well, I should say all the time, we need the help of God. So if there's something that have brought a heaviness into your life, uh, one of the good remedies is praise. Okay, so God do have a time. Uh, David was a praiser. Uh, he didn't have to be uh, propped or pumped to praise the Lord. Uh, you could see all through scripture where he worshiped and praised God. Uh, I want to point out one particular time that uh, kind of stands out is fine in First Samuel, uh, uh, the thirtieth chapter, starting at verse. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it is the thirtieth chapter. I'm going to start at the first verse and read down through uh, verse six, and it says, "And it came to pass." When David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day, that the Amalekites uh, had invaded the south, and Ziglag, and smitten Ziglag, and burned it with fire, and it, and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, neither great nor small, but carried them away. And went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David, two wives, were taken captive. A Hinnom and the uh, Zerulites and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for this people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David did not go by himself down to recoup uh, from the enemy until he had heard from the Lord. And the Lord gave him permission to go down. 
And David went down and recovered all that they had lost. And so uh, we can learn some things from this. Uh, right in the middle of it, David gave God praise. Uh, he didn't wait until after the battle was over. Uh, he didn't even uh, uh, wait till beforehand. But when he was in the middle of it, uh, God prayed, uh, David praised the Lord. Okay. And so um, we shouldn't say that we're going to praise God later uh, after we've been through something. Uh, we should praise him, uh, especially when we're in the middle of the storm. We don't have to wait until the storm is over to give God some praise. Because God inhabit, inhabits the praises of his people. He shows up when we worship him. And I want you to know that you don't have to be in a building, in a church to worship the Lord. You can worship the Lord uh, at any time. You can worship the Lord at home. You can worship the Lord as you're going off to work, returning from work. And so uh, where you are located, do not in, uh, inhibit your praise. Okay, so he, he uh, inhabits the praise of his people. Uh, you don't even have to wait until you feel it to give God some praise. Uh, so we need, if we need him to show up in our situation, whatever situation we're in, uh, just begin to give him some praise. I got another good example is Paul and Silas in Acts 16. Uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, it was at midnight. And, and so you can imagine that it's in midnight uh, that is in the middle of the night. And it says, Paul and Silas prayed and sang song, uh, and sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and every one's bands was loosed. And the keeper of the prison awoke out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoner had fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Glory to God. And he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must we do to be saved? And so these men uh, was trusting and praising the Lord. They did not do uh, what a, a lot of people would probably do. Uh, they wasn't complaining. They weren't, weren't asking, why did this happen to us? But they was praising the Lord at midnight, and God did an awesome work. So it don't matter the condition of our situation. It is not outside the limits of God. God is always bigger uh, than our problem. So you don't have to wait until you feel like it uh, to give God some praise. And you don't have to wait until he, you feel like he's done some for you. Uh, we ought to praise him up front. We ought to thank him already. When you pray to the Lord, you ought to thank him already for what he's done for you and what he's about to do. Okay. And so um, it says, uh, what about uh, when we need him? And I'm saying this. When, when we need him, he shows up in praise. Not after he bless you. You can praise it before you even think you received your blessing. And so uh, David wasn't in church when he was praising the Lord. He was in a fix because these men, you would think they would have been thankful. Uh, no one was uh, harmed. In other words, no one was killed. you think that would have been enough for them. But they was ready to blame David uh, for what happened. And David... Uh, didn't have anybody to turn to but the Lord. So he turned to the Lord and he encouraged himself in the Lord. So when you don't get a phone call from anybody, encourage yourself in the Lord. 
in uh, Isaiah 6, 6 to 1, 3, it says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for heaviness of spirit. Uh, for the spirit of heaviness. And so if you are depressed, you have a spirit of heaviness, God can turn that thing around and give you a garment of praise. I, I love that uh, garment of praise because when you are wearing praise, that means that you're not putting it down. That means that you are uh, always got it uh, with you. Uh, you're always going to give God uh, some praise that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planet of the Lord, that he might be glorified. That is our job, is to see to it that God is glorified. Um, and so it's not about us. It, it is about what the Lord is able to do in our lives. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I hope you uh, guys continue to have a blessed um, uh, evening. And may God continue to, to watch over us continue to keep us in prayer, keep uh, all those uh, in prayer that's uh, on the front lines, all the saints of God, continue to hold them up before the Lord. Those that have lost loved ones, uh, keep them in prayer. And um, God bless each and every one of you in Jesus' name.